Hey everybody, Dan God of Thunder here, uh, back with another video. I think I'm the last person on the planet to be aware of this, um, at least as per my Discord server. If you haven't already, go into the Discord server through the compiled so that social link and go in there. You'll see what I'm doing in between videos. Uh, I do know that um, I can be a little bit sporadic between uploads. This is kind of like my third priority behind um, actual living and like my job and things like that. And then Twitch. So Twitch is where I'm live. This is a little bit of as a side project. I do appreciate everyone who's been watching, everyone who's been subscribing though. Uh, let's take a dive bomb into this one. So this is going to be high res has bought out, Skillshot has been bought out to get away from high res and they're gonna partner up with INAP to develop an esports media center in downtown Atlanta. A uh, 10,000 foot esport operation, apparently it's gonna be new to service multiple games and consumer brands. Uh, so Skillshot Media was a wholly owned subsidiary of high res studios. Uh, sounds like from here they've been, they've bought themselves out. I don't know the specifics, don't wanna know the specifics. Um, and they're going to move to downtown Atlanta. So, you can we can speculate all we want about why they did this. Um, my thought is that Skillshot realized there's a lot of potential with the city of Atlanta. But companies like Overwatch, um, you know, Blizzard with Overwatch, Guacamelee, things like that, which is, no, not Guacamelee, uh, Brawlhalla. That's what it is. Brawlhalla would like to work with Skillshot, who have casters, who have broadcast facilities, but they don't really want to work with Hi-Rez. Now, and I think part of that is Hi-Rez having kind of a bleh reputation. I think part of that, too, is they don't want to work with another game publisher, um, which is, in effect, what Hi-Rez still is, even though they don't publish the game. They just are a holding corporation owning a bunch of other companies. Uh, that, for those of you who don't know, that is almost entirely... I was wrong. This is actually entirely a... Uh, initially, it is a tax-related thing in the state of Georgia. I had thought originally it was so they could sell off pieces of the company, uh, sell off individual games to other publishers and other stu other companies. Turns out it's a tax thing. I was wrong. Um, so they're going to move... From Alpharetta, which is pretty much as far north as you can go and still be Atlanta, to downtown Atlanta. So this is about a 30, it's about a 27 mile south move. And if you know anything about Atlanta, which you may not, Atlanta traffic is pretty gnarly. Um, they're going here, the INAP's flagship data center. INAP has been working with high risk and Smite. If you're wondering why the servers are so buttery, smooth, and crisp, it's all thanks to INAP. Um, that's a little bit of, uh, yeah. I don't know what their uh, stock price is right now, but I can't imagine it's very high. Uh, I can't imagine INAP's in all that great of shape, <laughs> given the quality of the products we've seen anyway. But I think the big thing for the Smite Pro League is that if Skillshot is still going to be running the Pro League, are they going to have their own contract? And are they going to go up to the existing facilities in Alpharetta, which is where hi -Riz is and is where all the teams are going to be and are planning to be around or planning to go to? Some teams like uh, PK last year, they got their house about 30 minutes east of Alpharetta and had to travel. So they were a bit out of the way. Other other teams found other locations, but a lot of them were around high res studios. If they have to get to downtown once or twice a week on the weekends, optimistically, that's a 45 minute drive. And most of these guys don't have a way to get there. Very few of them have cars. Not all of them have even the ability to drive. They do have to get a Lyft or an Uber. Um, that's going to be a pain, and it's just a lot of time that's being wasted. If they stay in downtown, the salaries aren't going to be enough to pay for that, and the teams aren't going to be able to afford to live in downtown Atlanta. And that's not to say that the teams are paying them poorly. Um, you know, there's been other talks about what's been going on with that. 
But downtown Atlanta is crazy friggin' expensive. So living there is going to be difficult. So we'll see what happens. Um, but I'm very, I'm very curious as to if we're going to have a new arena, what's going to happen with that. Because I can't imagine it's going to be open to the public for the regular season games, which it sounds like this 10,000 square foot arena may have some cap- capability to broadcast um, to a live crowd. We'll see what goes on with that. Either way, uh, the link to this whole thing here will be in the description down below. Make sure you like, share, uh, turn on bell notifications, subscribe. There should be other videos somewhere around here. Probably over my face will be one and there will be another one above me. Either way, take care. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you all next time.